My name is Trisha Paytas, and I hate vampires. Alright, well, I don't always hate vampires. In fact, I used to really love vampires. Like, I used to be obsessed with vampires as a kid. In fact, I know my mom can even testify to this. Like, I used to think I was a vampire when I was a little kid. Like, I know I'm weird. Like, I wanted to bite people and suck people's blood. In fact, I used to pick scabs so much, and, like, I would suck my blood. It was disgusting. My mom thought I was doing it to try and stop bleeding, but no, I really want to be a vampire. I went through that phase. I went through the vampire phase, right? Okay, so I used to love, 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 love vampires. <sighs> but what is with all these vampires like lately okay basically what i'm referring to is this new twilight breaking dawn is coming out like pretty soon you know a few weeks away and everyone is like freaking out like crazy okay and i'm like i don't get it like i've seen the first one awful second one not so bad this third one just looks terrible and i've read the books so before y'all get on me that i didn't read books or whatever i read the books i don't get it okay the books are better than the movies i'll give you that because when i envision edward i envision him as something more masculine than the guy that plays him. You know, to me, Edward in the movies is very feminine, and I just don't get that. I don't get why he's feminine. I don't get why they made him so... Eh, I don't know what the word is, okay? So I'm just, like, so over it, and they're not scary. To me, when I read the Twilight books, again, not that I'm a huge fan of those, but when I read them, I, I felt a little terror in me, the way vampires used to terrify me as a little girl, and that's kind of what I loved about them. I loved being scared. And, um, it's just, it just doesn't make sense. I mean, even, even the Lost Boys, okay, Kiefer Sutherland is a scarier vampire, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, to me, was some intense stuff, you know? And I didn't, I didn't grow up in the 80s, so I didn't see, like, Lost Boys when I was, like, a little kid in the 80s. I saw Lost Boys, like, a couple years ago, and I was scared. So, that's what I'm talking about. Um, or even, ugh, obviously, Bella Lugosi, Dracula. I mean, hello, that's a terrifying vampire, am I right? Like, that is, to me, sexy. That's scary. That's everything vampires are supposed to be mysterious, you know? Not just some random kid I went to high school with. No offense, Robert Pattinson. That is how you say it. I mean, you know, like, I'm sorry. I just don't get it. And the other thing I don't get is everyone's fascination with vampires all of a sudden. Because honestly, when I was a little kid and I liked vampires, everyone thought I was a big freaking weirdo. Like, I remember my mom had gotten calls a couple times from people thinking that I was like, doing weird voodoo things on them and they were like freaked out. Now vampires are all of a sudden cool. Why? Because they're really scrawny and not intimidating and not whatever. I don't know. Okay, like for example, <clears throat> True Blood, right? Okay, so I tried to get into the show and I really couldn't. But I'm not like bashing people who like it, right? But I am bashing the person who bought me this shirt because they're like, you really like vampires. I'm like, no, I don't like True Blood. You know what I'm saying? Because there's this one guy, I don't even know the characters, I don't know his name. I think his name might be Bill on the show. I don't know his real name so skinny okay like i'm sorry if this guy wanted to suck my blood or whatever like i wouldn't even, i would be like please you know like i would just like give him a kick whatever i don't know and the other thing is it's like when you when you put stakes right like okay like buffy okay i don't really like buffy either because that was again not ugh, whatever or just i thought it was kind of a lame lame show whatever i mean it could have been better okay i'm not like critic here but I'm just saying these modern ones I just don't get the obsession because it's just not it's not frightening I mean little kids should be terrified when they watch this stuff instead I see these little kids in the mall like loving these vampires okay like it's crazy to me and so when I got this shirt this was kind of like the final straw because I'm like they're like oh no those are like the most popular vampires that's why we got it for you and I was like and I'm not going to be like an ass and be like I hate this shirt but it's like I don't know I'm just declaring right now that I don't like vampires anymore don't talk to me about vampires, don't give me anything <laughs> about vampires, and, and yeah, I mean, it's just like a part of my childhood, I mean, I don't still think I'm a vampire, so it's not like it's like hurting me, I'm just saying like, I don't get this whole phenomenon of vampires, like it's just like, ugh, whatever, and Vampire Diaries, don't even get me started, don't even get me started on Vampire Diaries, like really, who are these writers, who are they, I mean, are these kids that like just got out of college, and their classic vampire is Buffy, you know, Spike, I mean, really, like what are, I don't know where they're getting these people, and these ideas, and these random weird stories like I'm sorry Twilight I mean it's kind of like sexual you know I mean I'm sorry vampires have a sexuality that doesn't need to be like spelled out for you it do, you don't have to be having sex with someone to show that you're a sexual person and that's what I like about vampires they were like sexy in their own right even like Vampira you know what I'm saying I mean she was just sexy she didn't have to like be breaking beds you know what I'm saying but I don't know maybe it's just me I'm just I'm just I just want to declare this and say that I'm just anti vampires I am boycotting this beginning at the end you know I mean Harry Potter I still love you 
because Harry Potter freaking that's a whole another world that's wizardry right there and wizards are freaking awesome forever and the people who write about wizards are like wizards themselves they're really cool but these people who are writing this obviously don't know about vampires I don't know what vampires they're seeing that sparkle okay I don't no I don't even get it so <laughs> anyways <laughs> thank you for the shirt I mean it is a nice gesture and I get it but uh yeah I don't know what's with these vampires I'm you know what I'm gonna put this out there right now I write vampire this is so embarrassing. I write vampire fan fiction I'm a big dork whatever okay um I will share some of my vampire fan fiction with y'all if you want and you tell me what's better my fan fiction which I just write two o'clock in the morning when I have nothing else to do and everyone's going out and I'm sitting at home by myself eating some Rocky Road or the stuff that they're putting on like HBO and cable and movies and just shoving down your throat. Just, I'm just saying. Okay? Um, <laughs> that's my little whatever. Um, yes. All you twihards, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just don't get it. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. Random blog, right? Whatever. I hate vampires. Arr.